Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's uh, interview. So today on our uh, client interview, we have Gordon Dudley, and Gordon is based out in South Korea. So welcome, Gordon. Hi. Hi, James. How's it going? Yeah, very good, thanks. So do you want to just tell uh, the listeners uh, a little bit about your background and what your company is and the sector that you specialize in? Sure. So uh, I am uh, based out here in South Korea, as you mentioned, uh, originally from the UK. So I've been out here for uh, about 10 years uh, and I actually set up my business about four and a half years ago. Uh, we're called RDI Worldwide and we are focusing on both uh, HR and marketing positions for global companies based here in Korea. Awesome, great stuff. So in terms of like, um, obviously we, 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 we do work together, uh, Gordon, and you, you're a member of the Recruiter Accelerator program and uh, my private mentorship program, which we can go into further. But um, tell us a story around like how you actually got started in recruitment and tell me a little bit around like uh, what it's been like from year one to, to where you are now and uh, how the business is going up until before we joined. So uh, I, I was working for about 10 years uh, for big companies before, before I decided to set up my business. And the kind of culmination of, of being in those big companies and feeling like a frustration that uh, working there is not, not really great and there's not, people are not really excited to, to come to work was, was kind of what I felt it, was there's something that I could do, something ha that I could help to allow people to uh, enjoy their work and then ultimately work better. And so that was the kind of driving force between, behind setting up uh, the company here. And that made us look at both uh, kind of a recruiting service and also an HRD consulting service. Um, I think that uh, we were perhaps a little bit naive uh, for the first few years, thinking that we could just uh, launch uh, our business that through knowing a few people from our previous company connections, we would be able to just be up and running and away we would go. And I think that that left us with um, a business that was functional, a big business that was kind of working and, and surviving, but just not growing at the rate uh, at which uh, was going to lead to any uh, sustainable uh, and kind of real viable business. And, and that's when uh, 2020, uh, COVID-19 came around. It was obviously a, a massive impact uh, to, to the business. And our basically kind of razor thin, um, thin as ice kind of margins and, um, and backup uh, of business just evaporated. And that made me look at uh, basically everything from the top down. And so that's where I came to decide that I need to actually invest more uh, in the business um, both in myself and, and the business. And that's how I came to uh, uh, join your program and decide that uh, I need to really go in a new direction and, and uh, incorporate some new tools uh, that can accelerate the growth that was, was missing before. Yeah, great, Gordon. So talk us through like initially back then, Gordon, like what was your process in terms of like generating clients and how were you operating the agency? So if I can maybe like summarize it in the most simple way, it was the most manual way, the most, most kind of like traditional way, starting every search from scratch, um, doing any, any job that came our way and uh, being grateful for client projects, even if they were not great clients and not really um, particularly viable positions um, due to you know, various factors. And so we had a very long uh, lead time uh, between, between getting, winning the new business and being able to place clients. And we also had um, quite a restricted uh, like pipeline in terms of our flow, um, in terms of get, moving through the different stages. And that was really just because we were doing everything uh, very manually um, and without really any kind of uh, clear defined strategic process yeah can you can you remember back then like what your actual sales process from like getting a stranger to a paid client like how you actually getting clients back then 
Well, we, we were, I mean, we were still using a, a range of sources to, to, get, uh, to get candidates. Uh, so we were relying mostly on, on recommendations uh, for, for, for getting new clients. We were not really doing any significant outbound uh, marketing. We were uh, also very much just relying on me as uh, as somebody to meet people face to face, to build a relationship, and, and then be able to to get to a place where um, I would be able to find out if they have certain needs um, and uh, and discuss some kind of uh, proposal. So it was the the kind of the old school, you know, um, like on a handshake uh, kind of getting to know someone type of business um, and, and not, uh, and, and so we even struggled around uh, the decision-making process as to whether they were going to uh, use us or not. Even that, even that was a struggle. Yeah, so like actually having a key differentiator in your market, like having that unfair advantage we talk around or, or what, what makes you different in the market as well. Because you were exactly. a little bit more, generalist as such even though you had a sector you didn't really carve out a specific micro niche as such right right we were we were trying to be uh, everything to everyone and you know we we in some sense even tried to take that as our own pride that we gave this uh, you know exceptional uh, five star service to every every client when in fact not every client needs or wants that high touch type of of service and uh, so um, that of course made us very slow and uh, and inefficient. Yeah, and and like, what would you say like, because you you had fine margins, you were saying on an knife edge. I know you had a couple of other employees, Gordon, and you had a different arm of the business as well, which I think was a training company. Like, what were you like, sort of doing revenue wise before you joined the program, and what's been the difference since you've joined the program? So we we were doing um, low six figures uh, on an on an annual basis, and so so this is where 2020 has been has been like a game of two halves, um, an incredibly um, you know slow first half where where we were seeing um, you know literally business dry up in front of us, and then beginning to. Um, you know, develop some of the the, the uh, tools uh, through the program, um, doing business in a new way, and then now uh, we're running in the second half of the year at a, a rate that's uh, more than double uh, what we were doing last year. So, if we if we uh, finish this year, the next couple of months, we will effectively have still done better than last year, even though we did almost no business in the first half of the year. Brilliant. A massive win, Gordon. So well done. Congratulations with that. So like what were, you, what were your key things that you were actually struggling with back then that you needed help with originally when you reached out to uh, Recruiter Accelerator and myself? So I, for me, I think there were two, two main things which uh, I realized I, I needed help with. One was uh, just actual sales um, and, and, and marketing. Uh, we didn't have a, a very good, um, you know, strategy. We didn't have a, a clear way to communicate what we do. We didn't have a way to reach uh, that three uh, percent of of the market, which are actively looking to um, to hire. And uh, and so that left us with uh, picking up a kind of business here and there, um, like I mentioned, the kind of business that. Might, might not actually be um, kind of good business um, or, or profitable business. And the second thing, uh, again, was uh, the, the very manual way in which we were doing things. And, uh, I, you know, we were taking far too long. We were losing uh, deals because uh, other, uh, you know, other candidates would be sourced from, from other places um, and uh, we would then lose out having already spent a significant amount of time and effort um, on a particular search. So um, how we, we, were, we were kind of slow um, and that was also just, just killing us uh, in, our, in our conversion. Yeah, got you. So like obviously defining obviously the type of clients that you could reach out one to many without having to do the manual cold calling and follow up and just asking for referrals. And also like sort of like a, a candidate sourcing system that's streamlined 
uh, your approach of how you source candidates instead of the, the old school traditional way that's a little bit disjointed and, and not predictable. So, okay. And why would you say like, what was the key thing of like, why did you join the program initially and, and invest in yourself and the business? So uh, even though I, I have pretty much every social media account, uh, I try not to spend too much time uh, on social media. Uh, you know, it's, it's so easy to just, just constantly flick through. But um, I guess around the start of the year, I joined a couple of uh, recruiter uh, Facebook groups, um, you know, open, open groups of, of people uh, running agencies. And, and that's where I came across uh, one of your posts, which was uh, where you'd shared one of your videos showing the, the growth uh, phases that you've been through in, in the first few years. And I just identified right away that, that, that I was already in time much further along, but in revenue and profit way, way, way behind. And I just realized that I can't keep going on working this hard and earning so little. And that was, uh, you know, um, because of uh, COVID-19, just, just putting a halt on things, it allowed me to just take that step back and realize uh, I've got to do something dramatic and urgent and just, just really um, go in a new direction. Otherwise, this is not going to continue uh, for much longer. Yeah. And, and I think people need sometimes that, that wake up call, don't they, Gordon, in terms of they're doing it, doing it, doing it. You're stuck in your business day to day. You think it's going to get better. Then all of a sudden there's a trigger point. And then there's a aha moment where you've got like something that falls on your lap and you think actually, yes, this is the right time. I actually need this because the pain is, is quite harsh in terms of where the business is at. And you, you need to come to that realization, don't you, in terms of we need to do things a different way because if we keep doing what we're doing, we we'll get what we've always got. Um, so yeah, cool. So like for people listening on the program, like in terms of reservations, like what initial reservations did you have? And, uh, about joining the program, if any? Well, I, I guess um, for me personally, uh, I have been doing, um, you know, different kinds of, uh, of programs for clients on, on the HRD side of the business, um, some forms of coaching, uh, running workshops. And so as, a, as an HR professional in that sense, I, I always found, am I somehow kind of betraying the very nature or the very thing that I've been trying to uh, promote um, in doing this. But, but in fact, what I realized is that I had spent a long time helping others and uh, trying to make work situations and, and you know, business situations, teams better, but I hadn't been investing in my, myself. And uh, even I had some kind of grand illusion that even though we were still a small company, that we were somehow bigger than we actually were. And that I was, you know, on paper, a CEO, but in reality, um, I was not, you know, I could not honestly call myself a successful entrepreneur, uh, honestly speaking. And that's, that's what I, I realized that um, if I want to be true to myself, I need to invest in myself and I need to uh, do some kind of massive urgent action um, and invest in, in this kind of program in order to try to um, learn, uh, learn, you know, not, not feel that uh, I'm a specialist of this, this country or, you know, this foreign market where I'm based and that's sufficient um, because it's clear that um, what, you know, what I've learned in the, through the program, it's, it's not country specific. There, there's fundamentals around business and recruiting that are, that are universal um, and apply to any business in, in any country. Um, yeah. And that's why we've been able to, to implement it so successfully uh, here um, in our business. And, and like for, for you as well, Gordon, it was the realization of like, it's, in, it's an ego check, isn't it? Because every business owner always thinks that the baby in their business is making more money than it is. It's better than it is. And you, you thrive off a reputation because you've survived four years, which most businesses don't even do. 
Um, but when you actually look behind the bonnet and you get someone else asking those probably difficult questions, because I know I pushed you a little bit, you, you could see like, you actually realize things from a different angle and thought, hold on a minute, actually, we are not where this business should be. And um, it was really important for you to realize that. And it, it's, it's important to recognize like the real truthness and authenticity of where you truly are at and where you actually want to get to and knowing for that sure. there's a gap and you need to learn and you're willing to invest and commit because a lot of people would just like keep doing what they're doing and, and not want to change. And the fact of like you adapted to that and seeing that you knew you had to do things a different way and change the style of your business because a bit a business is reflection of uh, the business owner personally. So like how you built that business initially was through like your personality and the way you've designed it. And sometimes you need to re-engineer that because it sometimes doesn't fit where your future self wants to get to as well. Um, so how are things like now for you? So like obviously joining and uh, doing things very manually, working in the business, uh, scraping by profit wise, like how are things like right now for you? So uh, what I've been able to do now is, is double my take home pay. That uh, for me has been, uh, you know, not just uh, a financial win, you know, with, with more money in the bank, but also, um, a, a literal weight off my shoulders like I physically feel lighter yeah. uh, knowing that um, I, I'm you know on the right track to to build a, a bigger and better business um, I also have uh, been able to uh, you know one of the biggest challenges for us was um, not having um, a, you know a guaranteed income beyond a, a couple of months out yeah. and um, and so being able to um, to have have won uh, some uh, retained business uh, with on a multi month uh, long contract um, has also been um, absolutely uh, fantastic to just uh, reduce that uncertainty and also uh, be able to uh, invest more back into the business because uh, of the certainty that we have that uh, that, that revenue coming in beyond uh, beyond a month or, or two out, um, and I you know it's still working for progress. I think I still have a lot more to learn. I'm still trying to refine it and 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 um, you know go further into our into our niche. Um, but also, I would say that the uh, the conversations that I'm having with potential clients are also much more. Uh, on point, they're much more targeted uh, in in the sense of knowing what it is that we uh, offer and the value that that can bring, but also in knowing that what we don't want to do or that we can't do, and and so also in some sense being uh, more um, selective um, on on the business and and realizing much quicker. Well, this this is not an actual sale that's gonna that's gonna close in the next week. This is uh, a, you know maybe a, a prospect that we need to nurture for longer time and perhaps in other ways um, mm. or offer them something else and not continue to chase after and, and waste time on. Yeah, and fantastic win by the way as well. Like I think you were saying that was worth about over hundred thousand dollars on the retainer. Yep. Uh, absolutely, it's uh, a, a, a fantastic client that that I'm I'm really happy to to work with. Um, it's multiple positions uh, over the course of uh, six months, um, and we were able to uh, negotiate uh, some some you know really a really good deal uh, with them. They are uh, already uh, very satisfied with with how how it's going because we've been able to get our first placement. Um, uh, within within that deal, so so we're now kind of proving ourselves, um, and uh, and and so yeah, it's it it just feels like a like a totally different business. Um, yeah, for sure. I think like it changes the mentality, doesn't it? Where you're in fear and scarcity mindset, where you're on the breadline and you you're next on the line to bring home income every month for your family and uh, your payments, and then once you get a bit of financial freedom. And a bit of like freedom away from actually having more money than you need and double your income, 
then you can work more on the business, be a little bit more freer, not have too much pressure on closing the next deal or really needing that next client. You can actually think more strategic, build your systems, build the processes and really carve out within your micro niche to be that number one expert within your sector, which is what, you, what you're building now, Gordon. The money changes things. And I think that was the key thing that uh, when we worked together was, I, I still remember we got you focused more on making money because sometimes you would think, well, it's all about the customer service, the reputation and everything else. But when it comes down to it in business, like is your business making money or not? Like if you haven't got sales and cash flow and money coming through the door, then nothing else, nothing else matters. Like that is the number one thing first is put money first and put like your profit first within the business. Definitely. And, you know, if, if I can nail one of the kind of intangible changes, it's, it's exactly what you just mentioned in terms of the mindset change. I was previously uh, like my things that I was trying to do most was was uh, in it, like build a bigger business. And uh, that meant, um, you know, having a bigger office and, and hiring more people. Uh, but that was predicated on insufficient sales, insufficient cash flow. Mm. And, uh, you know, and so I was thinking that having a bigger brand um, by doing more marketing was, was the, the way to, to do that. But actually, uh, it's, it's, it, the bottom line is, is sales. And, and with a, a stronger cash flow, um, a more, uh, not just a bigger one, but also a, a longer term guaranteed uh, cash flow, then everything else, uh, you know, can follow. And that's, I think, for me, rather than trying to be the, uh, the entrepreneur, the business owner, trying to run harder, run faster, do more, squeeze more time out, you know, because I was, I was working, I was working like crazy hours. Um, and and not really getting anywhere, and uh, and so that um, has has you know allowed me to just be a, a lot more strategic and a lot more uh, you know productive ultimately um, from from seeing sales as being the the first uh, and most important thing. Yeah, no, that's it's great. And like, would you say like? When you've been in the program, Gordon, because I know you've been one of the early players in the program, like what's it been like coming on the, the group calls with myself and the rest of the members every week? Like, did you find that a benefit in terms of having accountability in a peer group and a support structure? Yeah, so, so I, I, I guess uh, maybe it's, it's not uh, unique to, to our industry. Maybe all industries feel this, that, that a lot of the time you don't want to speak to other people doing exactly what you're doing you don't want to be very open and, and share I mean maybe you only want to say the good things and how well you're doing but you don't want to open about the realities and so uh, being on a on a on a program like this where we were essentially um, even though I've been in the business uh, longer uh, some others were just just literally starting. I also felt I was restarting um, in in adopting these very new ways of of doing business and and approaching uh, recruiting. And so, having that um, you know international network spanning lots of different countries uh, and being able to um, you know go back and forth and on the different difficulties. And I even have now connected with with some other members uh, you know offline. Um, personally, one to one, um, continue to share with them, uh, you know, some of the things which they're going through, and uh, and also, uh, you know, passing um, tips on as as we do different things at different stages. So, it, it's definitely been a great format, um, and uh, I I think that you know as it continues to um, to evolve and uh, continue to be new people joining, people bringing different viewpoints, um, then that's that's definitely really. A uh, big benefit of the program for sure. Awesome. So, what, what would you say, like, you probably your two biggest wins were that you took away from uh, working with myself, Gordon? Um, I think that fundamentally, the single biggest win uh, above all else, uh, the first one is the the mindset change. 
uh, th that I kind of briefly mentioned before. Um, the, the reality that only through, through being able to uh, use uh, very like incredibly efficient uh, tools to be able to uh, reach out to, to many um, and be able to convert uh, a much higher percentage of, of sales into, into um, you know, viable uh, business opportunities. Um, you know, that focus on sales and then ability to, uh, to, uh, to convert um, is definitely the, the biggest one. Um, the second one is probably then uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the video outreach. So for me, I get almost on a daily basis, uh, really positive feedback um, in the way that I reach out to people uh, using personalized videos, whether it's to clients or candidates. Um, you know, I said I do, I do marketing jobs. I get marketing people saying, you blew me away with this personalized uh, marketing approach. It's, it's, you know, and so if I can impress marketing directors, um, with with you know a personalized outreach, um, then it, it must be good. I mean, if that's not uh, kind of proof, uh, then I don't know what is. So that continues to. Um, I, I think those two things are, are the things which have have just most uh, dramatically changed my business. Yeah. So with the client acquisition system, the first thing, then Gordon, now you've got that system working really well, and it's a well-oiled machine and a flywheel. Like, how many clients would you say that you that you've won that you've had? calls with the terms of business got jobs on like since you started the program well it's been it's been a fair few months now um maybe uh, if i break it down so so i've i've now run uh we've just started our sixth campaign um, yeah. in in the new way of working and we have uh landed uh, on average three new clients with every every campaign so uh, in that sense, uh, the, the sixth one's just started. So the first five, it's around 15 new clients that we have uh, landed. And, it, and that started from the first campaign. It, it didn't start from the, the first email, but it started from the follow-ups, um, which, which come yeah. with that. And, and that's where it just started. Um, and so, you know, it, it, it's somehow like a kind of jigsaw that that each piece fits so well together that it just it just works. Um, which it, it it might sound a bit cliche, but but you know that I, I've literally converted um, that many clients um, from from uh, using uh, and, and using the program in this way. Yeah, that's awesome, Gordon. So, what are your plans like for the next twelve months and beyond with your agency? Where do you want to get this business to? So, uh, it kind of uh, going right back to to that original video that uh, that I saw on, on the growth uh, the growth curve. So, I, I basically want to continue doubling my my revenue. Um, so, you know, putting out a plan. Um, to you know a viable uh, plan where we continue to double um, you know every year um, for the next for the next three years um, going out um, and that will involve uh, you know more uh, you know long-term uh, retained clients uh, it will involve going deeper into our micro niche um, and it's already um, also about growing my team. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm now in the process of hiring uh, for my own team um, because I need, I need more support uh, to be able to deal with all this, this new business. So it's a nice problem uh, to have. Awesome. Okay, Gordon. Well, is, is there's one thing that you would like say to anyone listening on today's session about like maybe being on the fence of joining a program or booking in a call, uh, what would you say to them? I mean, I would say, uh, you know, you just have to, uh, you know, judge for yourself um, about whether, you know, this program is, is right for you. Um, but at the bottom, you know, the bottom line is that, um, you know, you, your program is based on a, a real track record uh, over a number of years. Uh, you have uh, done it in your own business. And, uh, you know, now uh, 
Others, uh, like myself, uh, have now been able to, to, uh, to implement the same kind of methods uh, and same kind of approach. And it's uh, now you know, clearly working uh, for us, even though you know, um, on the other side of the world in, in Korea, um, doing a, a totally different uh, sector, um, it, it, it works. And so, you know, for, um, if I, I think that's the, the strongest, um, you know, decision maker really that, uh, it's, it's about real results. Awesome, Gordon. Well, thanks very much for that. Um, and for everyone watching, uh, thanks again. Uh, the show notes will be underneath the description in, in YouTube. Um, if you just wanted to see Gordon on LinkedIn or reach out, I'll put a couple of links in there and you'll come to the website. Uh, but obviously, thank you very much for today's interview and thanks for sharing your journey so far, so far Gordon, in the program. I know now we're working one-on-one uh, -on -one with some uh, private uh, elite mentorship um, and uh, really looking forward to keep doing some awesome work there, a lot on the mindset and getting you from six to seven figures over the next uh, few months. And uh, thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you soon. Thanks, Gordon. Thanks, James. Take care.